What do you do for work? Uh, I'm an account manager right here at IHASCO. What is the most enjoyable part of your job? It's the fact that I get to speak to so many different people around my day. It's amazing um, how many different people you actually get to speak to one in each, uh, one in each day. What is your favourite thing to do in your spare time? Uh, I like to stay as active as possible. Um, play football, go out with friends, uh, just be as social as I possibly can be. Are you comfortable with the term disability or do you use another term? You can call it anything you like. You can call it disability, you can call it special needs, you can call it a physically challenged. It really doesn't matter. It's nothing more than words. It's how, it's how somebody actually treats you and how you feel about yourself that's important. Terms are, no, are nothing but words. Has living with your disability taught you anything that you wouldn't otherwise have learned? Uh, it's taught me to not let anything get in your way. Yes, OK, there are things that you can't physically do, for lack of a better expression, but just because you're physically not able to do something one way doesn't mean you're not able to do the same thing, just in a slightly adapted way. How do you find living and working with a disability? Um, genuinely, um, I sometimes forget that I have one. When I wake up, it's until, until I look in the mirror and see myself move, you think, oh, oh yeah, that's me. What is your strongest attribute or quality that you bring to your work? It's easy to say, but I'd probably say resilience. Um, just keep going because everybody's got challenges in life. Mine are pretty obvious uh, physically, but others will have problems that you can't necessarily see yet. But you've got to remember, every single person in this life will have something that they need to deal with themselves. Um, it's just how you deal with it. What can workplaces do to make a working environment more inclusive and accessible? Ask. Ask questions. That's literally the only, the only way you're going to get any information and make things better is by asking questions. That's, that's it. Don't be afraid to go up to a disabled colleague and go, or even a disabled colleague, it doesn't have to be in the workplace. If you, if you know somebody and you're curious, go up, to, go up to them and actually ask them the question. I promise you, if they're anything like me, they won't be offended. If anything, somebody's more likely to be offended if you're just sort of staring at them from across the room going, I wonder what's wrong with them. What questions should be asked to make workplaces more inclusive and accessible? It's important to understand that everybody, whether they're abled or disa able bodied or disabled, um, they're going to need different requirements in life. And it's just as important to just get to know that particular person because everybody's got value, everybody can contribute something. It's just a case of finding out what that is. Are there any stereotypes about your disability that you'd like to change? Yes, very much so. Um, first of all, I have a limp. I'm not drunk at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Just because I move a certain way, I think I might have said this, doesn't mean that I'm not able to do something. Don't assume that just because I look different or move different to you that I can't do a job or something at home. Trust me. I will find a way to do it. Has anyone ever misjudged your abilities because of your disability? Yes. Um, to the point where you can have a scenario where we're going to play football, as an argument, as for example. Uh, let's ask Ali. Oh, Ali can't play because he's disabled. He can't play football. He can't run up and down the wing. That might be true, but I can go and go. I can uh, quite happily throw myself around. There's always, some, there's always something that I can do or somebody else can do. Again, Everybody with a disability is different. Um, it's the same point, but don't assume, ask questions. What has your disability inspired and enabled you to do? Um, pretty much everything that I can do. It's, it's a case of just because I'm disabled doesn't mean I can't do that. Doesn't mean I can't go to work. Doesn't mean I can't earn a living. Um, it doesn't mean I can't jump out of an airplane with a parachute on my back. Doesn't mean I can't play football. Doesn't mean I can't go traveling on my own. Guess what? I've done all of that and more. And these are just the examples that come to mind. What can others do to make society more inclusive? Remember that the person is an individual. Remember that there's more to them, that there's more to them than just a disabled person. Um, I'm Ali. I'm an account manager. Uh, I, I live on my own. I do lots of things, but I'm not. But I, I don't want to be known as Ali, the disabled 
account manager. I'm just Ali, the account manager, who just happens to have a disability. And I can promise you 99.9% um, of the disabled population will think exactly the same thing. They're not, they're not the disabled person. It's just a characteristic of their being. There are, obviously, there are TV shows and there are things out there in the media that, that try and portray uh, minority groups in a positive light. But did you know that there's Disability Awareness Day? Did you know that there is a, there is a Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day in the year? These things aren't um, talked about at all because they're not mainstream. And I'm not saying that they absolutely should be, but a bit more exposure, a bit more awareness of these things um, might uh, help in the long term change uh, people's perception of disability if people are made aware of it.